classic hits and today's biggest tunes. Six Towns Radio. Okay, Phil, we're at the unveiling of the Royce Bowson statue. Is it as good as you imagined it, Luke? <coughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I knew it was going to be something special, and, and to see it unveiled now, it's just magnificent. I think he's caught Roy to an absolute tee. Yeah. How important do you think it is for the uh, Bowson family and for Burslem to have the statue here? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I was part of it where it was going to be located. I wanted it to be right where Roy should be, and me and my dad should be, which is outside the player's entrance, because that's evocative of what we were all about. And, you know, we're, we're, we're local people, all three of us professionals, and that's where we wanted to be. We didn't want to be around the front somewhere, we wanted to be where the players are. Yeah. So, that, that, you know, we're so happy that we are where we are. Yeah, and Roy made 837 appearances at Port Vale. Could you see any player ever emulating that? I can't. I, I can't at one club now because obviously the game's changed massively uh, with regards to player movement, and uh, it, I think it's a, a colossal amount of games to play um, for one club, you know. And Roy went through three years, uh, three decades. Of, of playing when the game evolved with equipment and everything else and Roy kept going to have the mental strength as well as the physical strength is a testament to what a unique man. Yeah, and the statues took over 10 years to be put up here in Burzum. Did you think it might not happen because there's been so much fundraising going on it's fell you know so many hurdles. Well you, you always worry at the back of your mind that the club lurching from one crisis to another that it'll never happen but you know we could have got going this time last year but of course you know the supporters club and you know I, I contacted me and we thought it best to hold off until we're a bit more settled and you know hopefully now with the new people coming in um, it's going to be a catalyst for the club kicking on now and uh, getting to the first division let's see if we can get back in the championship yes of course of course you played 500 times including substitute appearances uh, your dad played Roy played is there any more Sprosons uh, coming through well my, my, <laughs> my son nearly got there he was a, a schoolboy here right the way through to a 15 year old and, and then they got released but I've got two uh, grandsons um, William and George, uh, one five-year-old, and I've got a one-year-old. So who knows? Uh, they, haven't, they don't carry the Sproson name, and they carry a street name. But um, maybe, you know, who knows? Yeah. But my son, obviously, when he gets married, he'll carry the name through. So maybe there might be one that pops out from there. Yeah, continue that legacy. Thanks, Phil. Pleasure.